This here is the adventure of Batman and Robin for the Sega Genesis. The goal is to beat the game, and it has been submitted by Unwary. Oh, Unwary. It's a really cool intro. Here we go. What? What? Ah! Come on! Oh, you couldn't you couldn't give yourself more credits. Level one, happy birthday to me. So this game, I have played this one before. It was actually in uh, in. Uh, It was in uh, Reject Tournament, actually. And it was in Reject Tournament, because this game is just far too difficult. Like, it is completely unfair. But I watched Unwary play it, and I remember he picked up... I don't remember which it was he picked up, but he picked up one of these throwing thing is, and then you just kept, stayed with that one. Well, I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it was the... I think it was the red he stuck, he stuck with. I ain't getting any health drops. That's pretty unfair. To get love himself some chicken. Don't I? Shit. Already losing lives. As far as I remember, there's no extra lives given in this game. I guess one of the benefits of the blue one is it charges up pretty quickly. Oh, health! God damn it. Uh. thinking maybe you could slide somehow. That doesn't seem to be an alternative. Like they, those guys do. I want to do that. This is unfair? Yeah, that's just... That's just the four words. 
Or maybe it's this one on where I used. <laughs> Game over. And now you're gonna restart all the way from the beginning. Jesus. So just press the reset button and go back. Do it all again. Yeah, Anwari is not really known for being the, the one to play fair. Jesus, this one recharges very slowly. Yeah, thank you. It was a it was actually a pretty fun game. Sure, the, the the bosses were pretty janky, I must say, but I still kind of liked what it was go going, what the game got going for it. It was by no means a bad game. It just wasn't really good either. The stages were perfectly fine, I think. Just switch to blue. Shit. Yeah, I agree. The the part where you have to replay the entire stage is what makes it dumb. If it weren't for that, it'd be perfectly fine, really. And I often like I like it when games try dumb stuff like that. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but at least they tried. Who knows, maybe they'll maybe they'll hit the next big thing if they try stuff. Just playing it safe all the time isn't fun. Jesus Christ, why is it so difficult to pick up the one you want? You're supposed to hit it the lower part of it. I had completely forgotten that. Oh. You can see now it's at uh, a 
measly 77 health. I actually think it is possible to get through it. I don't know how many battle rank upgrades there actually are. Like, what's the maximum? I just know that picking up the same one several times uh, gives you a better and better upgrade. Alright, so this face I don't remember. It looks in the direction it's going to rotate. I think the most horrifying part here is this is just this is just like a mid boss. <laughs> this is not the actual stage boss. <laughs> it's when you realize those things that you start to despair. <laughs> I didn't mean to do the jump kick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? This game is cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the follow there, Stats88. I mean, this game is uh, brutal and not fair and everything, but... <laughs> It is really, it, it is kind of fun at the same time, in some weird way. Ah, uh, well, I, I understand that. Shit. I didn't want... A green thingy. I really guess watching Sega games not your thing then, Jay. Green's the way to go. Alright. I can understand that somewhere. It seems like it deals the most damage. I need one shots most of the common enemies actually, so...
I can see why it is the way to go. No! <laughs> what? Sometimes these jump kicks, like, give you additional height. Sometimes they don't. Seven is the best. Holy shit. I'm guessing in regular Sega Spirit, whenever you... If I pick up another one, I start over at one. Hmm. I'm when you die too, apparently. So what does these do? Oh, they upgrade whatever you currently have, I think. Jesus, this was a new pattern. What? Uh, this O2 typical touch anywhere on the boss and you'll take damage. It doesn't really matter if it's something on the boss that could logically deal damage to you. Yes, touching the boss is far enough. going down or we'll have to leave at least
I guess this is why green are the way to go. Because otherwise these enemies are really difficult. They can take so many hits. need a, a good health drop pretty soon. I'm a goner. Oh, there we go. This must have been an arcade game to begin with. There's no reason to make this game so difficult otherwise. Health drops pretty good. Oh, yeah. Also, the way health drops works is like one of the dumbest thing ever. They'll just fly away, and if you don't pick them up like midair, too, too bad. I guess that's true. They gotta... Sega is just... Preparing you for, for the real world out there. Can't get soft. I don't know if it's an unlimited amount of enemies that keep spawning. It sure feels like it sometimes. Hey, that was actually a pretty decent amount of health that dropped there. Killing those enemies so far up though is not a good idea. No! Oh! 
Why does it keep doing that? Why does the main challenge of this game have to be to pick up the the power up your wounds? Me? I'm just working with whatever the game gives me, really. It's not my fault. balls. I think I should only go for the power-ups whenever I actually s like I need to almost stand around and wait for them to switch. That's when you go for them. Boss is freaking horrible. <laughs> Trying again tomorrow. Yeah, you do that, kick boss. You do that. Get out of here. Probably will wake up tomorrow. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I don't trust these. I've gotten some serious trust issues by now. Oh, the tier 1 greens suck so bad. Too many of them. What the shit? What? 
can't stand up and shoot at them. You have to like crouch and shoot. Now that I have the level ones, it's not strong enough to kill them even with a charged up. coming over here with 20 viewers thinking he's welcome. <laughs> How are you doing, I'm worried. Why'd you bring all of this upon us? <laughs> There's the perpetrator. Exactly. This game is so dumb, you know that, right? Maybe if you've played it like 50 times and know all the patterns, then sure, maybe it's easy. But for a poor bloke like me, It's everything but easy. If something, this game rewards patience. <laughs> Alright, how are you supposed to dodge that one? You're not fast enough. I must say though, this game is really cool, like it looks so good, it's almost, it's ridiculous really. Jesus Christ, no! Where's it gonna come? direction downward jump kicks is that even a thing huh I didn't know actually I think the absolute first stage is the worst wait down direction attack midair what Oh, that one. Ah. 
I only knew about that one. It gives you some speed forward, but I didn't know about the one like downwards to gain extra speed. Alright, I've never gotten that far, <laughs> to be honest. I've only gotten to 3-1, that's my best ever. Oh, dodged it. Oh shit, where does he throw these? Oh, okay. Losing me again? God damn it, Goro. There's no safety rails. Oh yeah, that's the main issue here. Right. Gotta prioritize getting the health and everything. No, oh, I threw my batarang the wrong direction. No! Damn it! Got away again. Damn! Batarang, god damn it! Hey, I got to the top! No, 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 no. What's that? Oh. Hey. 
hey, Yorick is around. No need to fear anymore. <laughs> Where have you been, Yorky? Have you been on your yard sales again? Shit! Gaming event buying games. It's like a dedicated yard sale, I guess. Picked up a few things. Right? So, what was the lucky pickups? Darn you! Shit, not this stage. So this is the stage I've never gotten past. <laughs> this is where the game starts to get really difficult. You're not switching? Alright. Just hold the attack button. Oh. This part takes up 30%. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you can just hold it down. Ah, oh, well, you know. But I think I got here with like a far worse Batarang last time. Why does it only give me red wounds? That sucks. After this, it's Turbo Tunnel. Yeah, totally fair. Keep the level six bowlers, no matter what. All right, I, I'll I'll do that. It sounds like a solid idea. Keep these things, <laughs> no matter what. Needed to DPS the missile. The what now? Oh! I was one that actually switched color. For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> Sup, Roar? Yeah, this, this was in. Um, this was in uh, the. Um, Oh, what was it called? The reject tourney. Where they never got past uh, Harley. I think the issue was with uh, this, that they had no idea what they were getting themselves into. And then you were told, alright, so your race is to beat stage 2 in this game. You're like, I've never heard of this game before. And people got wrecked. Like, really, really wrecked. It's probably among the most brutal mystery tournament matches I've ever seen. I love them too. I really love the complete randomness. Oh wait, you said to keep the level 6 bowlers. I hope there's nothing wrong with having the level 7s. Or oh, the, the one I just picked up. Oh, 
Why do you switch pattern? God damn it. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, level camps out at six. Why is trying to ram me? Got him. Man, look at this background. It looks so damn good. This is amazing what they've done. And now, unfortunately, they hide it all. It's such a waste. To be fair though, I've never gotten this far before. Killed <laughs> thousands with debris, yep. Wasn't there a... I think there's a Marvel series about super cleanup crews who clears up after battles between villains and heroes, because I've always thought about that when I was a kid. Like, what about, what about all that's left? What about all the crap? They leave behind after fighting. There is, in fact. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty certain there was, right. Maybe I just worded my thoughts wrong. It wasn't there. Or I, I'm pretty certain there was one that did just that. Damage control, that's their name, yeah. <laughs> It's actually pretty hilarious that someone else thought about that. I really wonder what their plot is about, but I guess you could have them, like, uh, fight the minions, something? Like, some minions that got left behind or something. Like, say, uh, I don't know, someone that has a lot of minions. Even if you've defeated them, there's probably a lot of minions left to fight. Something that has like zombies or or uh, droid assistance or whatever. about them. Oh, Rocket Knight. Rocket Knight is really good. I agree. A Shinobi. I haven't played Shinobi, actually. Golden Axe is really good. I actually like Gain Ground a lot. I, I know a lot of people don't agree with me on that one, but I think Gain Ground is really fun. Maybe not enough to get your own Mega Drive, but it's still good fun. Holy fuck, this stage is long. And then I must admit, I've never been a really big um, um, beat em up fan. Beat em ups are fun if you're. If you're playing together with someone, but by yourself, not halfway yet. The oh, fuck. Sanic. Probably some kind of checkpoint on this. It can't be that brutal. And Murray, are there checkpoints of some kind? Trying to charge these things up is just not worth it, it feels like. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you used to love Comic Zone. I do agree. Comic Zone is such a cool game. I really, really like Comic Zone. It's just unfortunate that it's so goddamn difficult sometimes. Some parts are just so unfair. Checkpoints of a casuals, I figured. Why am I not even surprised? Or maybe I'm where I don't know, he never dies anyway. At least it controls pretty well. This segment. Ouch. Alright, so this is probably quite bad here. He didn't even give me any health. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, something like that. I've been at this stage for a while. This stage is uh, a bit too long. <laughs> I guess health drops off the casuals too. Oh wait. Shit. Picking up health though is so difficult in this game. Health drops. No health drops, no. Health drops. Yes. Get out of here. We get health from some of these. Not all of them, but some of them. What the fuck? Ouch, 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 ouch. It wasn't a lot of health drops, but it was some. How long is this part? Why does this game hate everyone so much? Here's another one of these raiders, whatever they are. This one doesn't just fire at you, this one has some kind of patterns. Alright, it does just fire at you too. 
health. Placing it in the middle. This isn't the final boss, what the fuck? This is so dumb. This hair is like actually stupid for real. Still not over. <laughs> the fuck? Ah! <laughs> oh. I could make a full stream of just this stage. Yeah, you did. But then again, people say this is the Dark Soul of something a lot of times, so. Someone saying that is not really worth that much. I'm guessing this is another weapon. Die! Right? Yes! <sighs> we did it! The fuck is this? I'm guessing these don't stop spawning. What? What was that even that exploded? Guess this. Hey, <laughs> congrats, Roar. Winning big.
Shit. Oh. I think I'll just stay up here. I think I'll just stay up here actually. This feels like a pretty pretty good spot to be in. Big health. Dude got pretty good arm strength, I must say. Yeah, I think it's I think it is the toy maker stage. I think it said something about Mad Hatter somewhere. I think it's 3-2 maybe? I don't really know. Mad Hatter's level. Hanging up here is probably the best idea I got. <laughs> you notice what happened, as soon as I went down I lost half my health bar in like a matter of seconds. Oh, I can keep progressing now. 
Don't mind if I do. We're dead. No? No. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh now what? What the fuck? Kid it. Right, at least it telegraphs which paw is gonna attack. Both paws? This thing can take so much damage. What the fuck? I didn't see the telegraph for that one. If there even was one. Oh, oh there it is. I just didn't look for it. I didn't know what to look for, really. I was so focused on the pause. Oh shit, it's faster! Die! What? Uh, how was I supposed to know that? I could have died. Um, I guess just keep moving? No? Oh shit, not these again. Wait, where am I? There I am. <laughs> I guess this is where good runs go to die, right? Not even any health pickups. Brutal. I don't know if I'm smart sitting over here, or if I'm really dumb. Hmm. I'll go for the, the really dumb part. I guess another thing is, I don't really know what happens if I fall.
I don't know if there's damage for falling off these. Probably insta kill. It wouldn't surprise me really. Can you even kill these? I don't think so. This sound. Shit. More of these. Jesus, I deal no damage at all anymore. I really appreciate how it gave me a health drop, but all the health drop just went upwards. Fuck now. <laughs> is it just me or is it very hard to see whatever it is going at me against this background? <laughs>
I can't really say what determines if he jumps high or low. Robo Pinocchio. Oh well. What the? Oh. <sighs> Yeah. So this game is really fun till you die once. <laughs> then the game just decides to turn completely impossible. Hey, you don't instantly die if you fall down. But the problem now is there's no way of dealing enough damage to actually get out of this position. I guess one could argue a lot about what's good and bad, but that part of it, I've never really understood that with shmups. Like, why does it put you back at square one and make it nigh impossible to actually get back out? I guess it's always annoyed me, because it, do it doesn't feel like it makes much sense. No one really enjoys ending up in that position. Sure, it is rewarding if you manage to avoid it, but once you're there, it just, just feels bad. <laughs> Oh, we can actually walk across this. When are we gonna play the Dark Souls of Dark Souls? <laughs> Haven't I said that? When I reach 500... Uh, 500 followers. Twitch partnership. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that or 500 followers. Whatever comes first, I guess. I know people like Dark Souls on Twitch, but the problem is it's the wrong kind of people who loves Dark Souls. <laughs>
Have I ever been in a Dark Souls streams? Uh, a few of them. Though my my primary experience with Dark Souls is actually the the drama that was around uh, the GDQ Dark Souls runs a while ago. But basically, the Dark Souls runner were bad mouthing one another in a way that maybe they were maybe they were having a good fun, but it was impossible to know if they actually were uh, if they were actually like just being silly or if they were actually being mean to one another. People like Unwary. I mean, we don't want more people like Unwary so many games, do we? Just having one Unwary is plenty enough. Where am I? Oh, there I am. So this is sort of what I mean. Where this game just... It doesn't even give you an ability to get back up. It's... The game is definitely not bad, but I can't really give it a good... I can't find it enjoyable because it's... It relies so much on kicking someone who's already down, and at least to me, that's never been good fun. GDQ tends to make drama out of everything? Nah, uh, kind of, I guess. Or people who are very much involved with it. I don't know why. I think it's just because... I think people in general love drama, and as soon as you have something that's like the centerpiece of a community, everyone is looking for an opportunity to cause drama regarding that centerpiece. And it sort of turned out that it's GDQ nowadays. That's why all the dramas around there. It's not that they're doing anything wrong, I really don't think they are. Like, this place is fine as long as it's just one at a time, or they have some kind of pattern. But apparently these guys don't have a pattern, they just come at you. And a lot of them can't really dodge. You just need to have good enough weapons here, it feels like. Yeah, they do. That might be foolish. I mean, it is a... Speedrunning is a hobby that very much benefits from being a perfectionist. Yeah, Magic the Gathering has the exact same problem, really. Everyone is looking for every opportunity to cause... Uh, like drama and misunderstandings and stuff. 
It's sometimes like people try to come up with a reason to get upset. You haven't noticed it with speedrunning? I think it, it matters. I have some people that I follow on Twitter that I really shouldn't follow on Twitter, really. And they always seem to be the one who gets upset and wants to, like, bring up the drama. Alright, so vote has opened. Shall we continue to play the adventures of Batman and Robin? Get your votes in, everyone. Have you seen enough or do you want to see more of this? Maybe the issue is not, like, the community. Maybe the issue is mm, how much space some people get inside of a community. Did I choose to be Robin? Hell yeah! Robin's the best. I <laughs> doubt you'll get to see anything beyond this level. I do too. <laughs> we're going to die game over here and we're gonna start over and we'll play it all through again. That's what's gonna happen. missed some extra lives. I don't think any amount of extra lives could have helped me. Once I died and lost my max level bolus, I think it was done for. Could have recovered after killing the jumpy boss. Oh yeah, that's what you meant, the next stage. Like the thing is, I really wish I I really wish I could get to see more of this game too. This game is really good. It's just that it's not it's not I don't want to say it's not possible, but it's almost not possible to claw yourself out of this of this hole the game puts you in. This is apparently how you're supposed to do this. Unless that, of course, happens. When it comes with a forward swing that's electrified, there is no way you dodge it. Max 3? Yeah, or something. If you lost like one level of the power up when you died, or something. Just give me something to claw my way back out. <laughs> or if I could choose which one I wanted to start with, so I could choose the bolas and actually kill the enemies. Got to Robo. Is that how you spell Pinocchio? Or is it two N's? Let's see, 3 1 or 3 2. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. I wish this game was a bit more beginner friendly, just a tiny bit. This game is very good looking. Probably among the best in the Genesis. Genesis. Probably among the best on the Genesis. The best looking. 
ones, the Genesis. The music is also a good, I must say. Too bad you don't hear much of it over the constant explosions. The only issue I have with this game is how difficult it is to claw your way out of dying ones. You lose all upgrades in some parts just become nigh impossible. It really is a shame because the game in large is really good. But honestly I think it is a bit too hard to enjoy unless you learn every strat on every segment. So that's like, I like difficult games but they should feel manageable to some extent. And I, I really... It's unfortunate, but this game doesn't really give you that ability, I think. Still a very good game, though. We got far further than last time. 